Lisa Meitner was an extraordinary female physicist whose most noticeable achievement is her contributions towards the discovery of nuclear fission. On the 7th of November 1878, Lisa Meitner was born into a Jewish family in Vienna, Austria-Hungary. She became the first woman admitted to the physics lectures and labs at the University of Vienna and the second woman to get a doctorate degree there. In 1907, after moving to Berlin, Meitner met the chemist Otto Hahn, who became her research partner. She worked at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, KWI, in Berlin without pay for years because women weren't hired to do physics research at the time. Despite this, she was able to achieve many remarkable discoveries and in 1926 became the first woman in Germany to hold a full professorship in physics at the University of Berlin. When Adolf Hitler came into power in 1933, Meitner was the head of the physics department of the KWI. On the 13th of July 1938, she was forced to flee to the Netherlands to escape anti-Semitic persecution. Lisa eventually went to Stockholm, Sweden, and kept communicating with Hahn and other German scientists. In December 1938, Hahn and his assistant, Fritz Strassmann, collided the uranium nucleus with a neutron and produced an unknown element, but they couldn't explain how it happened. He wrote a letter to Meitner, who, with her nephew Otto Frisch, was able to provide the theory to describe the process. When Hahn published this incredible discovery, he published without Meitner, knowing that including the name of a Jewish-born woman would cost him his career in Germany. After this discovery, nuclear weapons were developed in the Manhattan Project, the American-led project to develop the atomic bomb, but Lisa refused to be involved. She went on to receive several medals and prizes, including the prestigious Enrico Fermi Award in 1966, which acknowledged her role in the, dis in the discovery of fission. On the 27th of October 1968, Meitner died in Cambridge where she retired. The chemical element Meitnerium was later named in her honour.